Aboriginal TV Channel 4 Celebrating NAIDOC Week 2019 After two generations of NAIDOC We are here With a vision for the future And a message from the heart Let's work together for a shared future The 1960s were a time for change From pop culture to milestones in science That's one small step for man. and human rights movements. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Here in Australia, people's attitudes were also starting to change. For a long time, Indigenous people didn't have the same rights as other Australians. They faced a lot of discrimination and weren't counted as citizens of their own country. But many Indigenous and non-Indigenous Aussies realised that things could and should be different. And they started demanding equality. In 1962, all Indigenous people were given the right to enrol to vote in federal elections like everyone else. In 1965, Indigenous workers stood up against unfair working conditions and fought for land rights. And in the same year, uni students protested against racism and poor living conditions around country New South Wales. Mrs Bandler, how concerned are you as a New South Wales representative? Around this time, activists had also set their sights on a really big goal that would involve the whole nation. They wanted to change sections of the country's constitution which discriminated. And I feel that the time has come when Australia can no longer tolerate legal racial discrimination against its Indigenous people. The Constitution is the most important legal document in the whole country. It sets out just how Australia works. So how the government's put together, how the courts work, how the states work, and what the government can and can't do. So changing it isn't easy. To change the Constitution, there has to be a referendum. That's where everyone over 18 votes yes or no to the changes. To get the government to even hold that referendum, campaigners set out to get signatures on a petition. They set up tables in the streets of all capital cities and country towns and even waited outside footy matches and churches. Eventually, they collected 100,000 signatures and after 10 years of campaigning, they finally got their vote. On May 27, 1967, Australians went to the polls. In the end, 90% voted yes to changing the constitution. It was the biggest yes vote in our nation's history. The changes meant two lines were removed from the document, giving Indigenous people the right to be included in Australia's population figures and giving the federal government the power to make laws for Indigenous Australians. That last one later paved the way for things like the Land Rights Act, which has given many Indigenous Aussies traditional ownership of their land again. <laughs> 50 years on, there are still problems that need to be solved. And for many years, people have been pushing to change Australia's constitution again, because it doesn't recognise Indigenous Australians as the nation's first people. And it still lets governments make laws which discriminate based on race. But the 1967 referendum is still seen as a milestone in our country's history that brought Australians together and changed the nation for the better. NAIDOC Week 2019 on your official NAIDOC television station, Aboriginal TV, Channel 4.